guys in this video we are gonna see how to create an appointment confirmation reminder campaign now i might have talked about this in my channel previously but because this is a tutorial series about co level automation i'm doing it again to show you from an automation perspective how that works so we are gonna go to we're gonna go to calendars because this is a appointment video so uh i'll go to calendar settings just to show you what calendar i'm working with here so let's go to calendar settings and uh this is the calendar right so just copy this link and uh whoever books an appointment in this using this calendar he or she should receive a confirmation you should receive a notification that a new appointment has come through and uh receive a bunch of reminders about the uh, appointment you know so these are what we are going to accomplish using this video's workflow so if i go to setting just for a moment and if i go to notification and additional option sorry need to go to form and payment this option needs to be on so auto confirm new calendar meetings should be on if it's on then that's fine i'm going to go back automation and automation tutorials create a workflow so this time let's select a recipe because uh I quite like a pre-built template that high level has provided so i'm going to go to recipe appointment confirmation plus reminder i'm going to select this and uh, i'm going to work on this one so i'm going to say number five this is the fifth video of the series so the initial trigger for this will be event type normal because uh, sorry the event the initial trigger is appointment status so select appointment status event type normal appointment status is confirmed and you need to just specify what calendar you want this automation to be working for so in calendar book an appointment that's it so this is my uh, initial trigger now what uh, what gets performed through this workflow or automation so the first step i want to add is assign to user in case the the person or the contact who's booking an appointment is not assigned in the system you need to assign it uh to a user in this case it's me so i'll assign it to myself and uh, then the second step is get a notification so send internal notification this will be to you so uh, from hsm crm okay cool assigned user because you've already assigned it to you uh, new appointment booked so that's what you're seeing uh, or what you're going to be receiving hi new booking by name email phone number uh date fine all right so we're going to fill it up with few custom values sorry full name email address phone number and then appointment date time should be should you go one step back start date and time and that's it best hsm crm i'm calling it home service mastery by the way that's why it's hsm so i'm sending it from the crm to myself that's why i'm i'm writing it that way uh yeah we just need the basic automation uh sorry basic information through a notification now. so that's why i'm putting it here so assign to user internal notification to yourself now the confirmation so it should be if you want you can put a wait trigger for a few seconds and then the confirmation goes out so definitely you need to uh tweak this a bit it says hi contact name your appointment has been confirmed for this and this just remove the time zone from here i don't like it <clears throat> let us know if you have any questions in the meantime when it's time please use the zoom meeting id so if you are not using zoom just put anything else uh please use this link maybe and i'll put a video uh in this video's description uh, which is how to connect your zoom with high level so you can use zoom to uh, generate dynamic links on every appointment booking you know uh, but for now i'll just put appointment dot meeting location that should be it so that's the confirmation definitely make some changes to it according to your needs now 24 hours before the appointment and the wait trigger is I'll, I'll delete it so i can show you so delete action 
so i'll do another weight here because i deleted the previous one so wait event appointment time before one day or maybe 24 hours that's fine so 24 hours until the appointment and if the call was booked maybe 12 hours ago what needs to happen is you just skip the 24 hour like one day before reminder because if it's just booked 12 hours ago right so you don't want to send, say that like your booking is in a day so you're going to be confused so you just select skip all outbound communication actions till next wait event or event start day action so that what that will do is that doesn't meet the criteria because the the call was just booked a few hours ago or something but it was booked less than 24 hours ago so it will not send you this uh, send out the lead this email instead it will go to the next wait step over here so 24 hour reminder email you need to definitely change it and then wait for one hour before the appointment one hour reminder email and sms wait for five minutes i'm not gonna send five minutes because i'm not a fan of constantly sending stuff from the system so i'll delete all actions from here so that, that's all one hour before 24 hour before booking confirmation notification signed user that's it so that's a pretty basic appointment confirmation and reminder campaign uh that you can create that takes no time really because it's already pre-built in the system you just need to use it so whenever someone books an appointment in this calendar uh we'll go through all these automations that we just created hope this video was helpful and i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.